Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a video on this look right here, the one that I'm wearing on my face right now. And since the holidays are upon us, and there are a lot of holiday parties. Christmas is coming up like super, super quickly. And yeah, um, I decided to create this look because it is a super simple look. I know sometimes you don't have like all the time in the world to be like, getting ready and stuff so I decided to put this look together so if you're just someone who doesn't have a lot of time in the holidays because you have to cook, you have to wrap presents, whatever it is or you're a beginner that wants to look cute for the holidays then this is a look for you because it's super simple it's really quick and I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now so make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's head straight on so we're gonna start off <clears throat> with the eyes let me just use my primer, this Soft Ochre by MAC, and I'm just gonna place it on my eyes like always. Once that is done, I'm just gonna set it with my setting powder, and yeah. So after we've primed our eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Stardust palette. Um, this is limited edition, but the colors are very simple, you can find them anywhere in other palettes. So yeah, let's just get started. I'm using Millennial, this like mid-tone shade as my transition in my crease and I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and just apply it. After that, I'm just going to go in with Girls Night, which is the shade right next to it. It's a bit deeper. I'm just going to dip my brush and apply it to my crease, only the outer part of it, because I don't want it to be too defined or too dark. I just want it to add a little bit of depth. I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and clean that up. And now after that we're going to do the lit shade. This look is super simple. So I'm going to go in with this Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. And I'm just going to use this side. I'm not going to use this side because it will be too intense. But I'll use the like glitter as a base. So I'm just going to apply this onto my lids and then blend it out with my finger. Okay, so you can add as much as you want. I only added a tiny bit because I'm going to go in with a little bit of glitter because glitter makes everything better and more holiday. So I'm going to go in with this Too Faced uh, Glamour Dust and Nude Beam. I think this came with the Stardust palette. Um, and this is just, I know I'm going to be able to show you without spilling everything, but it's just a very, very fine glitter. And I'm not going to even use like any glitter glue or anything, I'm just going to go straight in with this since the base of that like uh, liquid foil is sort of tacky still. So I'm just going to go into the flat brush and I'm going to make sure, and I'm just going to make sure to like dip my brush into it, tap off and dip again just to get the glitter into the bristles of the brush and not get as much fallout. And then I'm just going to whoop 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 put it on my eyes. If you want it to be a bit more intense, like I do, you can go in straight in with your fingers. Yeah. I'm just gonna go back in with the both of the crease colors, so Millennial and Girls' Night, to just even this out and make everything blend together seamlessly. And then I'm gonna go back in with my fluffier brush with no product and just blend everything out. I'm going to go in with another brush and I'm going to grab Chandelier, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to apply this into the inner corner and the brow bone. Now I'm just going to go in with the Morphe S6 brush, which is this like pretty big 
brush right here. It's an angled brush, and I'm just going to go in with Sin City, which is the black, the black, matte black right here. And I'm going to apply this to the lash line as if it was a liner, just to define the eyes a little bit. But if you get messy, it doesn't matter, because it looks smoky, and it looks good. And yeah, let's do it. And I'm sort of like stamping, not dragging, but stamping. It makes it easier. Once we're done with that, I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush and Millennial just once more. And I'm just going to run this along the lower lashes. And now all that's left to do is mascara and the eye look is complete. I'm going in with the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara and just coat my top and bottom lashes. And of course, if you want to apply falsies, that is also an option, but for this simple look, I decided not to. And yeah, after you've applied your mascara, the eye look is done. Okay, so now moving on to the face. First, I'm going to take a sip of my hot chocolate that I'm drinking because it's the holiday season. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm as my primer today, and let's just put it on. By the way, I have my eyebrows done already because, yeah, it saves time and it's boring to watch. Now I'm going to go in with the Cogendo Aqua Foundation in 013. I'm just going to apply this all over my face with my beauty blender. So today I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, my favorite. You guys know I've used this a lot. And I'm also going to be trying out the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I just got it in the mail and I'm excited to try it out, but I think it's a bit too light. That's why I'm going to mix them. So let's get straight am to lay up. Okay, so far I'm really liking the mix of both concealers, but I'm going to have to see how just the Sephora concealer works. But yeah. Let us move on to set the face. I'm going to use my Sexy Mama, the balm thing that is really, really well loved. And yeah, I'm going to use the same brush that I was using previously and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and all over my face. So after applying my concealer and setting it, I'm going to go in with the Beach Bronzer by... <laughs> Beach Bronzer? The Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I love this. I love this so much. And I'm just going to apply it with a fluffy brush all over my face to warm it up. I'm not really contouring a lot, more so warming like the face and stuff. To make it look like I'm bronzed, but it's winter, so there's no sun hitting my skin at all. I don't really love blush all year round, but I think the winter is the perfect time to use blush. So I'm going to go in with the... Kiko Blush Coco Shock in 02. I dipped my nail into it, but I'm going to be using a mixture of both. And I'm just going to be applying this onto my cheeks lightly and delicately. So now that I have my blush on, it's time for highlighting because Holidays would not be holidays without the highlight. The highlight has to be gleaming so you can shine like a freaking ornament. So I'm going to be using this ColourPop Lunch Money highlighter, which is beautiful. It is like a champagne-y. I don't know what it is. I just love it. I'm just going to apply this with my fingers to the high points of my face. Now before applying my lipstick, I'm going to be using the Scandinavia Finishing Spray and putting it on my face. For my lipstick, I'm going to be using this new, I also just got this in the mail because I did a little Sephora order. Um, I'm going to be using this Bite Amuse Bouche Lipstick Duo in Sour Cherry and Gold. So this is awesome because, I mean, the holidays I always wear red lipstick, 
So I got this duo. They're selling at Sephora right now. It's $14. It's so cool. And it has like this red color on one side and on the other end, you're gonna die. I can close this. They have a freaking gold lipstick. So I guess this is like a gold topper, so you use it on top. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. And if I don't like it, I'm just gonna do the red, but feel free to do whatever lip you want. Because this lip goes with every single lip color ever, so. I'm just gonna line my lips with the Essence Lip Liner. I recommend a red, but I can't find my reds anywhere, so I'm just gonna use this one and then apply the lipstick. And yeah, after you've done the lipstick of your choice, this lipstick is looking super good, I love it, then this look is complete. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the look, and I hope this is helpful for your holiday parties and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this helped, and make sure to like this video if you... What is this? So yeah, make sure to like the video if you like the content, or you like the look, or you like the lip, or you like whatever it is in this video. Make sure to let me know with a like. And also make sure to subscribe to never miss out on any more videos. Okay guys? Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Bye!